Hey, you guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Victoria. Hi, 亲爱的朋友们，欢迎回到我的频道。今天呢，做一些不一样的事情，也是我打算在这个频道做的一个新的栏目 ，a new column. It's called Victoria Reading Books. 这是我的读书的节目。那如果你关注了我一段时间呢，你应该大概了解，在这个频道我们做的是个人成长的各个方面。那除了 yoga 做瑜伽，让身心合一、平静下来、放松、不焦虑等等，我呢还想做在个人成长的陪伴方面，我们一起读书的这个环节。很多时候我们没有一个。很吸引眼球的方式，让我们去增长在个人成长方面的知识。那我想要做这种形式的视频，和你们一起每天去提升自己，作为每天必须做的步骤之一，就是我们去提升频率，并且吸收对我们有用的知识。那今天呢，读的这本书，你们应该都非常清楚了。另外还想说的是，很多我的粉丝呢，他们说想要学习英语，想要提高口语啊、听力啊，所以我认为最好的方式呢，是我读英文的书，然后在一些我认为比较想要有感想做附注的时候，我会用中文来解释。那你们在听的时候呢，听到英文的时候就去磨一磨耳朵，听到中文的时候呢，就去和自己 check 一下这方面的思想有没有已经到位。OK， 啊、呃，开始之前呢，给你们介绍一下，这个呢是我们家的，嗯，这个龙舌兰，哎不对，虎尾兰 ，whatever， 呃，反正它呢就是可以晚上的时候把二氧化碳转化成氧气，是很好的卧室植物。然后这个呢是小明送给我的一个小宠物，其实它叫 Harry， 嗯、呃，之所以叫它 Harry， 其实是因为它很 Harry， 就是它毛很多，然后。反正他就是我的 book reading little buddy， here， 但是他一般不太能做好，所以就是他需要靠着一个东西。OK， 然后这边呢是加湿器，放着不一样的精油。今天呢用的是 tea tree， 这个袜子是小明的奶奶在德国带过来的，这个是手织的羊毛毛线的袜子。OK， anyways， let's start。Chapter One: What I Believe. The gateways to wisdom and knowledge are always open. 那第一个论点 ，Life is really very simple. What we give out, we get back. What we think about ourselves becomes the truth for us. I believe that everyone, myself included, is responsible for everything in our lives, the best and the worst. Every thought we think. Is creating our future. Each one of us creates our experiences by our thoughts and our feelings. The thoughts we think and the words we speak create our experiences. We create the situations, and then we give our power away by blaming the other person for our frustration. No person, no place, and no thing has any power over us, for we are the only thinkers in our mind. When we create peace and harmony and balance in our minds, we will find it in our lives. Which of these statements sound like you? People are out to get me, or everyone is always so helpful. Each one of these beliefs will create quite different experiences. What we believe about ourselves and about life becomes true for us. 第一个论点呢，也是整本书的一个最经典的论点。路易斯海的观念就是，生活是一个非常简单的互相作用。你给出什么，生活就给回来什么。而且他认为，我们应该拿回对于人生的主导权，不应该把你的生活的不幸或者是坏事怪罪到其他人身上。我们应该了解到，是我们的想法、我们的感受，在某一刻吸引来了某一件事情，造成了我们周围的环境。The universe totally supports us in every thought we choose to think and believe. Put another way, 
our subconscious mind accepts whatever we choose to believe. They both mean that what I believe about myself and about life becomes true for me. What you choose to think about yourself and about life becomes true for you. And we have unlimited choices about what we can think. When we know this, then it makes sense to choose everyone is always helpful rather than people are out to get me. 这一点呢，也是很多的观众他们曾经问过我说，嗯，我现在不想做一个正能量的、积极的人。我听这些我都恶心，我都觉得很膈应。那有时候呢，我经常回给他们的回应就是，其实不管是看上去正面积极的思想，或者是看上去负面消极的思想，都是一堆想法。It's only a pile of thoughts. 只是想法而已，就是这个世界很好，或者这个世界很黑暗，这个世界支持我的努力，这个世界吞灭我的努力，他们都是一堆想法组成的，在现在你看起来是事实的东西。所以，如果这些想法对你来讲是有益的 ，they are supporting thoughts。如果他支持你，让你觉得很开心，人生很有意义，很有主导权，那么我会。永远选择这一类型的想法。那如果有些想法说啊，生活就是这样，啊，很黑暗，很无力。那越年轻的你接受了这种想法，相当于你的人生就越早进入了受害者的模式。你会觉得啊，事情发生了是因为我倒霉，或者说就是因为我的命运是这样。所以，如果你可以尽早的选择那些支撑你的、滋养你的，让你觉得。开心的想法，让你觉得人生有意义的想法是最好的。The universal power never judges or criticizes us. It only accepts us at our own value. Then it reflects our beliefs in our lives. If I want to believe that life is lonely and that nobody loves me, then that is what I will find in my world. However, if I am willing to release that belief and to affirm for myself that love is everywhere and I am loving and lovable, and to hold on to that new affirmation and to repeat it often, then it will become true for me. Now, loving people will come into my life. The people already in my life will become more loving to me. And I will find myself easily expressing love to others. Ah, 读路易斯海的书，很多时候就好像是在给你的心灵洗澡。你就每一次听到他的一些论点，你就会觉得好像你生活在一个非常友好的、温暖的、充满爱的宇宙，没有人会因为。你做的不好，或者因为你不喜欢你自己，他就会批评你说：“啊，不应该这么做，你不应该这么做。”路易斯海的风格就是他一概包容任何人，这也是我特别特别喜欢他，并且愿意相信他的论点的一个很重要的原因。宇宙从来不会审视我们或者批评我们。如果我们愿意相信自己是值得被爱的，是可爱的，那么我们的生活就会随之吸引来相应的情景。Isn't that true? Water break. 喝口水。Most of us have foolish ideas about who we are and many, many rigid rules about how life ought to be lived. This is not to condemn us, but for each of us, is doing the very best we can at this very moment. If we knew better, if we had more understanding and awareness, then we would do it differently. Please don't put yourself down for being where you are. The very fact that you have found this book. And have discovered me means you are ready to make a new, positive change in your life. Acknowledge yourself for this. Men don't cry or 
Women can't handle money. What limiting ideas to live with? When we are very little, we learn how to feel about ourselves and about life by the reactions of the adults around us. It is the way we learn what to think about ourselves and about our world. Now, if you lived with people who were very unhappy, frightened, guilty, or angry, then you learned a lot of negative things about yourself and about your world. I never do anything right. It's my fault. It's all my fault. If I get angry, I'm a bad person. Beliefs like this create a frustrating life. 这一段呢，也是我很想说的原生家庭对于我们的性格的影响。那如果从小到大，你的家人或者是你的老师，刚好都是像路易斯海说的，不开心的、受到惊吓的、有内疚感的，或者愤怒的，或者比较阴暗的、比较抑郁的。那么，在你很小的时候，相当于你是住在家里这么一个小环境里，但是这个却是你对于这个世界认知的起点。所以，如果在这段期间，你就以为世界是这个样子。那么，在你移到更大的环境，你到学校里面，在你移到广阔的社会里面的这些阶段，你都会一直带着你在最初的这个小环境里面的潜意识去做、去反映任何发生在你身上的事情。所以，整个生命的重建，在我看来，非常重要的一点是在把你小的时候这种不知不觉形成的潜意识里面。好的留下，不好的释放出去，再加更好的东西进来，让你能够认为我走出家庭以后，我的小环境、大环境、社会环境都是对我有益的、有爱的。Okay. When we grow up, we have a tendency to recreate the emotional environment of our early home life. This is not good or bad, right or wrong. It is just what we know inside as home. We also tend to recreate in our personal relationships the relationships we had with our mothers or with our fathers, or what they had between them. Think how often you have had a lover or a boss who was just like your mother or father. We also treat ourselves the way our parents treated us. We scold and punish ourselves in the same way. You can almost hear the words when you listen. We also love and encourage ourselves in the same way. If we were loved and encouraged as children, for example, you never do anything right. It's all your fault. How often have you said this to yourself? You are wonderful. I love you. I love you just the way you are. How often do you tell yourself this? However, I would not blame our parents for this. We are all victims of victims, and they could not possibly have taught us anything they did not know. If your mother did not know how to love herself. Or your father did not know how to love himself, then it would be impossible for them to teach you to love yourself. They were doing the best they could with what they had been taught as children. If you want to understand your parents more, get them to talk about their own childhood. And if you listen with compassion, you will learn where their fears and rigid patterns come from. Those people who did all that stuff to you were just as frightened and scared as you are. 这一段讲的是，如果说你的原生家庭，你的父母没有用你希望的爱和关怀的方式把你养大，我们也不用去。埋怨他们，抱怨他们，把所有的罪责归在他们身上，然后说：“就是你，你害我成这个样子的。”路易斯还说
不管是怎么样的父母，他们是在用他们知道的最好的方式去爱你。如果他表现出来的并不是爱你的方式，那么很有可能是因为，在他心里面，他不知道应该如何爱自己，所以他反映出来的方式，是，一种负面的、消极的，可能会专注你的缺点的。他不知道如何去爱你，所出来的外在的表现，是因为他小时候，他的父母并没有用爱和关怀的方式去照顾他。我们不过就是受害者的受害者，但是现在路易斯还说，我们如果一味的想要去怪罪别人，其实是没有任何的好处的，因为过去的事情已经过去了，他们当年也不知道如何去爱，他们当年也没有用正确的方式被爱，所以下面一段路易斯还说 ，I believe that we choose our parents。路易斯还说，是。我们选择了我们的父母。那这一段他是这样说的 ：Each one of us decides to incarnate upon this planet at a particular point in time and space. We have chosen to come here to learn a particular lesson that will advance us upon our spiritual evolutionary pathway. We choose our sex, our color, our country. And then we look around for the particular set of parents who will mirror the pattern we are bringing to work on in this lifetime. Then, when we grow up, we usually point out fingers accusingly at our parents and whimper, "You did it to me." But really, we chose them because they were perfect for what we wanted to work on overcoming. We learn our belief systems as very little children, and then we move through life, creating experiences to match our beliefs. Look back in your own life and notice how often you have gone through the same experiences. Well, I believe you created those experiences over and over because they mirrored something you believed about yourself. It doesn't really matter how long we have had a problem, or how big it is, or how life-threatening it is. The point of power is always in the present moment. All the events you have experienced in your lifetime up to this moment have been created by your thoughts and beliefs you have held in the past. They were created by the thoughts and words you used yesterday, last week, last month. Last year, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, or more years ago, depending on how old you are. However, this is your past. It is over and done with. What is important in this moment is what you are choosing to think and believe and say, right now at this moment. For these thoughts and words will create your future. Your point of power. Is in the present moment as it is now, and is forming the experience of tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, and so on. You might notice what thought you are thinking at this moment. Now, you are thinking something. Is it negative or positive? Do you want this thought to be creating your future? Just notice and be aware. 这个呢，这个论点也是生命的重建，在重建的过程当中最有力的一个论点。那路易斯还说，如果我们想要改变人生的话，改变人生的力量就在现在的这一刻，不是过去的痛苦，过去我们不想想的经历，也不是我们把希望寄寄于未来可能会发生什么事情，未来说不定幸福会降临到我身上。路易斯还说：“现在就是力量的源泉，就在你、嗯、在听这个视频的这一刻，这一天。不管过去发生了什么，他们已经过去了。而现在你身边周遭的这些情景，是由你过去的思想，慢慢的形成、吸引、变成现实，来到你身边的。所以，如果从现在开始，你想改变生活的某一个方面，你就要知道。”想要改变未来，要从这一刻开始
，也就是为什么很多人会说，呀，活在当下，活在当下什么意思呀？活在当下的意思就是，这个是现在，这个绿色的是未来，我的 Harry 是过去。如果我们一直想着过去的事情，只会让现在变得更加糟糕。如果我们一直想着未来的事情，忧虑着不能怎么样，相当于我们直接忽略了在这一刻我们可以做的现在这一天最好的事情和安排。所以，路易斯还说的，所有的能量，所有的可能改变的机会，都在现在的这一刻。如果你现在愿意改变，而且你相信你可以改变，未来就有可能被重写。可是，如果你现在都不相信，现在都充满怀疑，那么未来可能会和过去一样，你又把它变成了未来的一部分，一点一点、一点一点的再次重复。The only thing we are ever dealing with is a thought, and a thought can be changed. No matter what the problem is, our experiences are just outer effects of inner thoughts. Even self-hatred is only hating a thought you have about yourself. You have a thought that says, "I'm a bad person." This thought produces a feeling, and you buy into that feeling. However, if you don't have the thought, you won't have the feeling, and thoughts can be changed. Change that thought, and the feeling must go. This is only to show us where we get many of our beliefs, but let's not use this information as an excuse to stay stuck in our pain. The past has no power over us. It doesn't matter how long we have had a negative pattern. The power is in the present moment. What a wonderful thing to realize! We can begin to be free in this moment, in this very moment. Believe it or not, we do choose our thoughts. We may habitually think the same thought over and over and over and over, so it does not seem we are choosing the thought. But we did make the original choice. We can refuse to think certain thoughts. Look how often you have refused to think a positive thought about yourself. Well, you can also refuse to think a negative thought about yourself. It seems to me that everyone on this planet whom I know or have worked with is suffering from self-hatred and guilt to one degree or another. The more self-hatred and guilt we have, the less our lives work. The less self-hatred and guilt we have, the better our lives work on all levels. 这句话对我而言，就好像是惊世警钟一样。路易斯还说，他认识的每个人几乎都在遭受讨厌自己或者是内疚的折磨，只不过程度不一样。讨厌自己可以有很多的形式，可以是讨厌你现在的钱。啊、呃，人际关系、你的事业、你的身体健康，或者你的外表的各个部分、部位，或者是你的一些先天的能力，比如说智力啊、家庭背景啊等等这些东西。所以，当他说，有些时候我们选择了相信我们不够好，这只是一种想法，这种想法。是在我们成长的很多很多很多很多年，一遍一遍的被别人强化着。比如说，在学校里面，因为成绩不够好，没有拿到满分，就会一直的把我们去和别人比较。那在这个过程中，其实就是一直在重复：我们不够好，我们要更努力，我们要努力努力努力，拼命拼命拼命，才能勉强的被接受。尤其是对于年轻的女孩子来说，因为我们受到主流审美的影响，会觉得自己脸不够小，眼不够大，鼻子不够挺，嘴巴不够饱满，眉毛不够，嗯、呃，野生，嗯、呃，头发不够什么什么，然后身体不够瘦，腿不够长，屁股不够翘，胸不够大，腰不够细，我腿不够直，我的，走走走，等等
这样慢慢慢慢的渗透成一种潜意识，就是我们不够好，我们很丑，我们很胖，我们很不值得被爱。所以，如果你愿意去重新的构建自己的潜意识，你就会慢慢的发现自己原来是这么的不爱自己，你就突然能够意识到，啊，原来是因为我不爱自己，所以吸引来了更多的让我觉得自己没有价值的情景。当你能想通这一点的时候，你就会意识到爱自己是多么的重要了。The innermost belief for everyone I have worked with is always. I'm not good enough. We often add to that, and I don't do enough, or I don't deserve. Does this sound like you? Often saying, or implying, or feeling that you are not good enough. But for whom? And according to whose standards? If this belief is very strong in you, and how can you possibly have created a loving, joy, joyous? Prosperous, healthy life. Somehow, your main subconscious belief would always be contradicting it. Somehow, you would never quite get it together. For something would always be going wrong somewhere. I find that resentment, criticism, guilt, and fear cause more problem than anything else. You see, if we are all responsible for everything in our lives, then there is no one to blame. Whatever is happening out there is only a mirror of our own inner thinking. I am not condoning other people's poor behavior, but it is our beliefs that attract people who will treat us that way. If you find yourself saying, "Hmm, everyone always does such and such to me, criticizes me, is never there for me, uses me like a doormat, abuses me, whatever." Then this is your pattern. There is some thought in you that attracts people who exhibit this behavior. When you no longer think that way, they will go elsewhere and do that to somebody else. You will no longer attract them. Following are some results of patterns that manifest on the physical level. Resentment, that is. Long held can eat away at the body and becomes this disease we call cancer. Criticism as a permanent habit can also lead to arthritis in the body. Guilt always look for punishment, and punishment creates pain. When a client comes to me with a lot of pain, I know they are holding a lot of guilt. Fear. And the tension it produces can create things like baldness and even sore feet. I have found that forgiving and releasing resentment will dissolve even cancer. While this may sound simplistic, I have seen and experienced it working. We can change our attitude toward the past. The past is over and done. We cannot change that now. Yet we can change our thoughts about the past. How foolish for us to punish ourselves in the present moment because someone hurt us in the long ago past. I often say to people who have deep resentment patterns, "Please begin to dissolve the resentment now, when it's relatively easy. Don't wait until you are under the threat of a surgeon's knife or on your deathbed when you may have to deal with panic too." When we are in the state of panic, it is very difficult to focus our minds on the healing work. We have to take time out to dissolve the fears first. If we choose to believe we are helpless victims and that's all hopeless, then the universe will support us in that belief, and we will just go down the drain. It is vital that we release this foolish. Outmoded negative ideas and beliefs that do not support us and nourish us. Even our concept of God needs to be one that is for us, not against us. To release the past, we must be willing to forgive. We need to choose to release the past and forgive everyone, ourselves included. We may not know how to forgive, and we may not want. To forgive, 
but the very fact that we say we're willing to forgive begins the healing process. It is imperative for our own healing that we release the past and forgive everyone. I forgive you for not being the way I wanted you to be. I forgive you and I set you free. This affirmation sets us free. I forgive you and I set you free. I forgive you and I set myself free. <sighs> yes. All disease come from a state of unforgiveness. Louis has a German schooner, ba, ji bing, disease, pin se cha, dis hyphen ease. 他的意思是，当身体不处于一个很放松、很自然、很平和的状态，自然会有一些疾病出来。他把“疾病”这个单词作为 “this is” 的解释。Whenever we are ill, we need to search our hearts to see who it is we need to forgive. The Course in Miracles says that all disease come from a state of unforgiveness. And that whenever we are ill, we need to look around to see who it is that we need to forgive. I would add to that concept that the very person you find it hardest to forgive is that the one you need to let go of the most. Forgiveness, meaning giving up, letting go, it has nothing to do with condoning behavior. It's just letting the whole thing go. We do not have to know how to forgive. All we need to do is to be willing to forgive. The universe will take care of the house. We understand our own pain so well. How hard it is for most of us to understand that they, whoever they are, we need most to forgive, were also in pain. We need to understand that they were doing the best they could with the understanding, awareness, and knowledge they had at the time. When people come to me with a problem, I don't care what it is: poor health, lack of money, unfulfilling relationships, or stifled creativity. That there are only there is only one thing I have work on, and that is loving the self. I find that when we really love and accept and approve our ourselves exactly as we are, then everything in life works. It's as if little miracles are everywhere. Our health improves. We attract more money. Our relationships become more, much more fulfilling, and we begin to express ourselves in creatively fulfilling ways. All this seems to happen without our even trying. Loving and approving of yourself, creating a space of safety, trusting and deserving and accepting will create organization in our in your mind. Create more loving relationships in your life. Attract a new job and a new and better place to live. And even enable your body weight to normalize. People who love themselves and their bodies neither abuse themselves nor others. Ah, 读到这里我好想哭，就是很激动的哭，因为它这里面说到的很多东西都是我在看完这本书以后逐渐去改变的。他提到。有些时候，啊、嗯，我们缺钱，我们身体不好，嗯，人际关系不好，或者觉得创造力枯竭。他说，不管这些问题是什么，唯一的根源就是我们要去爱自己。It's loving the self。然后他说，当我们能够去爱和肯定自己的时候，就是创造出了一个安全的、有爱的。感觉你受保护的一个空间，就会吸引来或者创造出来很多新的有爱的关系，吸引来新的事情可以做，新的事业机会，更好的地方去居住，而且还能够 enable your body weight to normalize， 还让你的体重越来越正常。
就包括我也是这样，在我这个频道刚开始的时候，其实我是在这个腹部的这个部位，总是感觉会，嗯，就是肿肿的、胀胀的。包括我一开始的时候，总是在吃东西的时候会想，哎呀，这个不能吃，这个不能吃，这个吃了会胖，怎么怎么样。所以在吃东西的时候会很挑剔。但是就是因为这种挑剔，一旦我吃了那个我认为不应该吃的东西，我就会加倍的在心里面责备自己，而这种想法会引导出来我不爱自己、我讨厌自己的行为模式，我就会用其他的方式去惩罚自己，比如说暴饮暴食。这里所谓的惩罚，很多人是没有意识到是惩罚。但其实就是我们对于自己表达不满的一种方式。然而，在我越来越多的深入的了解《生命的重建》这本书以后，我就一开始是很少去暴饮暴食，要一直到现在，我接触这本书已经有大概半年多的时间，也就是这个频道开展的这段时间，我现在不再会暴饮暴食了。我在吃东西的时候，我就告诉自己，我的身体。会告诉我什么时候该停止，我可以吃任何我想吃的东西，而且我的身体，我会告诉我自己，我的身体在百分之八十以上的时间都是选择那些健康的、对我有益的食物，而当我想要去吃那些美味的，但是不是很健康的食物的时候，我也是充满愉悦的消化它、代谢它，营养腹中流。然后毒素就穿肠过。It's amazing how it works, you guys. You have to try it out. 接着 ，self-approval and self-acceptance in the now are the main keys to positive changes in every area of our lives. Loving the self to me begins with never ever criticizing ourselves for anything. Oh, loving the self to me begins with never ever criticizing ourselves for anything. 爱自己对路易斯海来说就是 never ever 再也不要因为任何事情批评我们自己或者指责怪罪 put ourselves down. Never ever criticism. Locks us into the very pattern we are trying to change. Understanding and being gentle with ourselves helps us to move out of it. Remember, you have been criticizing criticizing yourself for years, and it hasn't worked. Try approving yourself and see what happens. It's amazing what she says. She says, 批评保证了我们还会处于我们现在想要改变的这种模式下面。他说，如果你不能够接受现在的自己，如果你觉得我怎么能不批评我自己呢？我这里不好，这里不好。他说，那么你就去想一下，这么多年你一直在。Criticize yourself, 一直在批评自己，责备自己。那有没有管用呢？有没有起作用呢？有没有效果呢？有没有让你觉得人生更可爱呢？如果说没有的话 ，then try approving of yourself and see what happens. 如果说不管用的话，就去试着自己去肯定一段时间，在这段时间里只肯定自己。You are wonderful. I love you. You are a, a loving and lovable person. I love you just the way you are. 告诉自己，我无论怎么样都爱你。我肯定自己，我接纳你。我啊，我爱你。去试着这样做一段时间，不管你现在是暴饮暴食也好，无法接受自己也好，或者你在某个方面不够满意。试着想一想，是不是因为你自己对于那方面的自己不满意，经常批评，经常专注于负面的模式？最后呢，也是这一章的结尾，送给你们路易斯海的宣言。他说 ：“In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. 
I believe in a power far greater than I am that flows through me every moment of the day. I open myself to the wisdom within, knowing that there's only one intelligence in this universe. Out of this one intelligence comes all the answers, all the solutions, all the healings, and all the new creations. I trust this power and intelligence, knowing that whatever I need to know is revealed to me, and that whatever I need comes to me in the right time, space, sequence. All is well in my world. <sighs> yes, all is well in my world. 是。可以送给你的时刻，在你觉得恐慌、批评自己、责备自己、认为自己不够好的时候，可以时刻说的一句话。那中文的话呢，叫做：在我广阔的人生中，一切都是完美、完整和完全的。我相信有一种比我强大的多的力量，每天、每时、每刻都从我身体里流过。我打开自己，让智慧进来。我知道大千世界只有一种智慧，在这智慧里面藏着所有的答案、所有的解决方案、所有的康复方法和所有的新创造。我相信这种力量和智慧。我需要知道的一切都已经被揭示，我所需要的一切都会到来，在正确的时间。正确的地点，按照正确的顺序，一一来到我的世界里。我的世界里，一切都好。All is well in my world. <sighs> Thank you guys for listening or watching this video or audio clip. Me and Harry, we will be seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, all is well in your world. All is well in my world. Loving yourself, loving yourself makes you feel good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you next time.